I need coke like that. Mm. Got to get my business off the ground. Right. Tonight. Right. <laughs> my business is due tonight. <laughs> Hey, Hezbos. Welcome to Hesby Street. Um, we're going to give you some things we've never told you before. We'd love it if you could rate and review the podcast. Check out our website, hesbystreetpod.com. We got new merch, live dates. I'll be, uh, I'll, be, I'll be out this weekend and the next weekend and then the next weekend. If you want to catch both of us, October 1st, we'll both be, uh, I don't know, are we headlining? I think we're headlining the Santa Cruz Comedy Festival. That'll Ninth be fun. Annual. Nine times they've done this. What? A, oh, and then another amazing thing, brand new to the podcast, is we have a Patreon now. Patreon.com slash Heavy Street. You can get a bonus episode every single Friday. If there's a Friday, there's a Patreon episode. Other than that, I think that's it. We love you all. I love you a little bit more than Zach does. That's just, I just have a bigger uh, capacity for love. It's not that he doesn't want to. Um, my, well, lo- my love tank is it's a little small. It's spread thin. Yeah. So with that, let's commence the podcast. Welcome to my Hesby Dojo. Here you will learn the essence, the core values of chewing on the fat of an idea. <laughs> yeah. Not really giving too much of a fuck about structure. It's not a structured pod, man. Karate is discipline. You're not at karate class. You're in my dojo. No, you're in the dojo of uh, taking it how it comes, man. Easy. Not always easy. Not always easy. Sometimes it comes hard, then we take it hard. And we take it hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but usually it comes easy. It comes so easy. <laughs> Oh, I'm in a weird headspace today, man. Why? Well, it's the biggest day of the year for me. It's Dave Day. Dave Day? Yeah, I call it Dave Day uh, every year, once a year. You know this about me. I go oh, to Dave right. Matthews. Right. Dave Matthews Band, to be more correct. Used to be a huge day for me. It, it remains a huge day for me. Um, But yeah, there's not a lot of like... Uh, I feel like in the past, there's been a lot of pomp and circumstance to it. I'm ta- I'm doing a quiet one this year. I'm going to do this podcast. I'm going to walk over there by myself. Walk over to the Hollywood Bowl. Dip into this Hollywood Bowl and just vibe. That's going to be fun. I'm excited. Uh, The first Dave Day I ever witnessed was at Hesby Street at our house. You went into the front yard and watched the live stream of the concert, right? Yeah, because it was uh, COVID. 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 So they streamed the concert. Mm -hmm. And you were out there just vibing. Shirt off, hands. You did the wave. I did the way. I did the... uh, I did the white guy uh, jam band dance, which yep. is really just like you're swimming. <laughs> yeah, what is that? It's just your arms are kind of like... Do you learn that from someone or does it come to you in a nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> it's the nightmare one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Beelzebub yeah. taught you. He's like, yeah, dude, if you, don't, if you don't pump the arms, you don't swim out of there, then you have a bad trip. Then you're in hell. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of being in hell, I got an audition for the musical Christmas in Hell, <laughs> and I play Lucifer. Oh. It's premiering in Las Vegas. <laughs> I have no experience singing at all. <laughs> at, a, uh, so, at a hotel, like a casino? Like I don't one know. One of those theaters? I think it's just a theater in Vegas. Off Broadway, like, Vegas? Like off a, the where, Vegas Strip Broadway. Off downtown <laughs> Vegas theater it sounds bleak their man. musical scene <laughs> sounds like christmas and hell i feel like a lot of people just in the area have been like i'm lucifer you gave this guy lucifer i'm actually the devil I'm out here <laughs> ruining lives you're giving some hollywood yeah so they sent me sheet music which i don't know how to I read i can play it for you and they played piano i should have pulled the song out but it's like i just guessed i'm like I am the devil and I'm going to ruin Christmas. I eat little boys. I'm like, I, this feels right. I'm just riding the vibe. We have to put, you still have the video? We have to put that on our Patreon. We have to. All right. Only on our Patreon, but you guys don't share it. You have to. We, we're doing it. We're putting it on. Like, do that again. I am the devil and I'm going to eat the little boy or something, some shit like that. But I was totally guessing. You know, you're, the, you know, you're, it's great writing when the characters are introducing themselves in dialogue. Yeah, I yeah. am the devil. 
it is Christmas time now. <laughs> All right, we've established setting. We've established this me. This way it can just be a black box theater with no decorations. <laughs> so we're setting the whole setting with the dialogue. Here we're picturing a lot of red and fire. Everyone with me now. We're all in this together. It's snowing because it's obviously a state that has that during the winter time. Christmas. But then hell doesn't have snow. But it could. It could. It could have snow. I feel like hot and cold are meeting at a point. Picture like a line about eye height. My level here. Yes. It's where steel is kind of forged, because you know how they're yes. always dipping it in the hot, but then they go to Do the cold, cold water, <laughs> and they hammer a little, and they go back, and you think to yourself, is he, it doesn't look like he's done hammering. I just, like, does he ever stop the sentence? He's like, no, this is hell. This is what makes the hell hell. The sentence never ends. People, yeah, yeah. reviews are in. I thought I was actually I was in hell. In hell. <laughs> So anyways, guys, if you're in Vegas this winter, yeah. check Zach out at Christmas in Hell at the Thai restaurant behind the old uh, Golden Nugget. Not the not the Golden Nugget as it is now. No. Where it used to the be. The original Golden <laughs> the Nugget. The original Golden Nugget, which is, of course, off-off Broadway strip strip. Yep. Yeah. The original Golden Nugget where 12 people died, not the new Golden <laughs> Nugget where 26 and counting have died. <laughs> the Thai restaurant that we're behind is booming. That's the thing, the culinary scene there, they don't yeah, tell well, you about. Yeah, well, that's how they, I mean, that's why it's such a good get. A lot right. of foot traffic. Right. <laughs> hey, you guys, if you actually want to eat, you can just take it to go. <laughs> guys, honestly, we have QR codes. <laughs> I got a seat. You can sit, and then we'll just all personally, during the set, yeah. during the show, we'll just run over and grab your food. Bring well, it to your seat. It's 8.30. I, the show started at 8. You know what? He recaps about every 10 minutes, just so everyone's all caught up. It's not a linear performance, anyway. <laughs> So you don't really need to be there from the start as long as you're there at the end, which is, I need you to ask when, it's always different. It's everywhere, man. (laughs) If you get there in the next 20 to 40 minutes, you'll see the beginning, which we put in the middle. (laughs) Oh, man. That's going to be our passion project. We just make our own musical. That would be great. And honestly, you know what's a topic that we just touched on as we were stream of conscious, but it is something I think about? Yeah. Watching a blacksmith blacksmith, and what, and I always feel like he's not done hammering, but he goes back to water and back. And I'm always, every time I see a blacksmith do yeah. his thing, forging steel, dips it, comes back, hammers, hammers a it. little. I always go, he's not. he could have snuck in a couple more hammers, and we'd be closer to being done. I wonder if that's what makes a blacksmith great. Right. Because, you know, the, the one guy's thinking, like, I'm the best because I hammer the most. But the best blacksmith is, like, a lot of what gets done are the hammers you don't take. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, because you want that to be strong still. Yep. But sharp, but metal. And you got to <laughs> let the water or whatever clear liquid they dip in, maybe a vinegar base. <laughs> you got to let Could that be. do its thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, letting it sit. You don't want to rush. No. You know, some guys think I'll do some extra hammering. I can rush the vinegar water solution saline situation we got going on. Yep. But you can't do that. No. Probably. (laughs) It can't be good. And then the union's pissed because they're like, whoa, Johnny flying through a sword making Mm -hmm. over here. I didn't know we're on a time constraint. Yeah. Well, now and then the quality of goods. Yeah. And that's, you know, they're. Yeah. Like you said, they have then they have to start pulling your blacksmith membership and then it's. Yeah. Red tape. and Yeah. It's like, you should just go be a Freemason. Do build the stone. Be a stonemason. It's less important. Yeah, exactly. You hear that? Stonemasons, fuck you, We're coming for bro. you, dude. We, we, we jumped the Illuminati. We're going right for Freemasons. <laughs> Your secret society was founded on a stupid job. <laughs> Someone's like, how about that corner? That corner of the building we did. We're like, I mean, it's fine. It's yeah. Like, All right. Why didn't you do the whole building? <laughs> I'm a Freemason. Don't, it's not. We don't do whole buildings. We do. The we do fireplaces. Corner. We yeah. do sidewalks. We'll do a hearth. Yeah. We'll if we a, know we'll, you. Yeah. <laughs> and we can't do a hearth this year, but we can get you on a list. I got you, you on a hearth list. Have you ever uh, been like screwed over in a deal, and you like try to think of like the highest up person you might know in your life? You know, it's like some skeezy person just ripped you off. Mm. I don't want to be like. My childhood neighbor's dad is a judge. Yep. In Arizona. See, I go the other I just lie. What do you say? I just say I just it's my dad. 
Okay, you cut out the middleman. Cut out the middleman. <laughs> and he's you. You know what I usually go with, or I did, is I'd go uh, journalist. Like you, you, I'd hate. Right. I'd hate for my dad to have to write an article about this. Yeah, get a lot of In eyes the, on uh, it. Wall Street Post, <laughs> and they'll be like, close, <laughs> close. And I'll be like, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, it's a it's Wall Street adjacent. It's Wall Street Times, Joe, Washington Post. He does both. He's freelance. Wapo. Yeah, you familiar? Waspo. Have you heard of a little thing called um, BuzzFeed? Have you- <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might want to think about screwing me over again because uh, my mom is the head of Delish, <laughs> their Snapchat account. Okay? <laughs> if you want to know 12 ways to enjoy Chipotle with flair, I would hate for my cousin to have to write a... Uh, Pretty rough, dry headline in her reductress post later this <laughs> yeah. month. Uh, you might have heard of my family. We listed, I mean, really, we leaked everything on the in and out secret menu. It's all out there. You think we're afraid of you? Oh, did you not hear my last name? WikiLeaks. <laughs> yeah, we're Hawaiian. <laughs> So, you know, listen, were those our best uh, improv riffs? No. But you're on drugs. That's the problem. I took just, I'm not on drugs. I took a little bit of legal marijuana pre-concert. Prescribed? Prescribed by, (laughs) so I went in. So Doc's like, hey, Torio, just noticed you got a Dave Matthews concert coming up. We need you to uh, (laughs) come in for up your subscription. We filled it. We filled it without (laughs) asking. We got you. I don't think I've been high this calendar year really so but i was like i'm going to the dave sh- concert by myself i'm gonna hit up the little dispensary blaze it up went in and um yeah i'm gonna blaze it up i got gummies yeah <laughs> like let me pop this gummy beer <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my impression of you in jamaica <laughs> Like, I've always wanted a beer. No, I don't smoke. I'm going to do this cherry grapefruit. It's point f- <laughs> Can't do the voice. It's point five, so I, I nibble off like what I think is point one. I'm kind of a point four milligram guy. I'm eyeballing it. I'll keep the point one in case I want to get have a little extra fun later. Do you have a napkin? I just don't want it to get linty in my pocket. Yeah. Anyways, let's have some fun, guys. And you're just in like the outskirts of Kingston, <laughs> and they're just like, man, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Does anyone have a napkin that they don't want back? I'm at like their planet Hollywood. <laughs> you know, they're like American style. Because I like when I'm high, I like to feel safe. Yeah. I want some of those comforts of home. Right. A nice Applebee's. Mm-hmm. Just having a tablet at your table. Yeah. You know, something I can press buttons. There's an emergency, I'm sure. <laughs> Too high. <laughs> Help. <laughs> <laughs> You hit the help button, and they don't actually... It just It's help with the device. Right, <laughs> and an IT like, guy oh, shows having, up. I'm like, well, that's not... No, I meant, like, just with... I'm having an existential crisis. Yeah, dread. Is there a dread <laughs> button? <laughs> but so I went... So they need to change... So, like, weed's been legal in California, what, three, four years now? Yeah. But you can't touch it. You know? They make it all weird. Why can't you touch it? You go it? in, and it's like, you gotta ask for stuff. It's all behind the you counter. You want like a grab bit? I want like an out. I want like a liquor store. I want to be able to look at the bottle. I want to read the labels. Yeah. Right? Because I'm asking. I don't know weed. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, you know, I want to look at the. I want to read it. I just. I'll never be able to remember the difference between indica and sativa. Oh really? I know indica's the chill one. Indica's sativa's the, chill. the party one. Yes. Can never remember. Get them really? mixed up. Well, you know, it's the easy trick. Someone always told me. Uh huh. I can't remember who. But Indica, Indica couch. <laughs> All right, that's fun. That's great. Yeah. And then Sativa's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, we could make one. Sativa is sat on the couch. So, no, <laughs> Sativa's like, set evening already? I want to party more. Okay. Is that evening already? Keep doing the accent. This is good for you. Is it evening already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's just asking me what I want. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I, I want the like um, scared white guy goes to a Dave Matthews concert by himself joint. Oh, that's Do you have funny. that? Did you tell them that? No. You should have. We should have. They'd be like, look, we're not like a fun weed place. <laughs> okay. We get high and we don't giggle. <laughs> Let me help you with someone that works with giggly yeah, people. Yeah, we can't. So I ended up getting gummy bears. And what kind of gummy bear? I got wild berry indica. Okay. I took a guess. 
You're going to be I down sp- for the count, dude. That's good, man. It is a body high. It's a body high. That's what I want. Yeah, you want to feel f- it. I want those body. magic knees, baby. That's you know what I mean? <laughs> Get them back. Um, but then she's like, because it's your first time, you, you would you like two joints for a dollar? Yeah, of course. So I got two joints for a dollar. Okay. If anyone needs joints, come on by. I got Did the you fire ask pit. what they are? No idea. They came with labels. See, that's once you get them, you can read all about them. What's the joint? I don't know. It's the Indica or Sativa. I don't know. All right, I'll look. teach you some words. Okay. Hybrid. Hybrid's both. Gas. What's that mean? Gas is that straight gas. Oh. That loud. Okay. Mid. Not very good. Got it. If it's mid, it's not gas. Mid's bad. Gas, good. Bammer is bad. Bammer's bad. So you got bammer. What's it called when it's like the the rest, like the powdery stuff at the end? Oh, uh, 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 just kind of like a swag. I think people yeah, call swag's it. a word for. It. There's another word. There though. is another word. Yeah. Uh, someone, someone who just blazes and listens to our is podcast so is mad right now. Screaming. They're screaming. At <laughs> they're fucking, These nerds. They're like, it's called fucking glitter dust. You <laughs> fucking idiot. <Yeah>. Unsubscribe. <laughs> I wish they did have weed labels for people like you that just said, like, Dave Matthews concert once a year, <laughs> white guy, not good at dancing, would love some help. Uh-huh. <laughs> would love a performance just enhancing. Like, or just, like, wedding for your ex-girlfriend that you probably shouldn't have been invited for. Yeah, but I'm going to yeah. act cool and kind of want to act so cool that she wishes she didn't marry the mm-hmm. guy she's marrying. But it's yeah. too late anyway. But I, I also fuck her. need her to, like, I need the weed to, like, chill me the fuck out. Right. You know? But make me the life of the party. But make me the life of the party. Which pisses the groom off. If you could make that weed, I'd pay $250 (laughs) for just one joint. Just for one night of that weed. If you could make that weed do that. Yeah. Come on. Oh, you want uh, an ounce of toxic wedding guest? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you want to make your pregnant ex-girlfriend rethink the decision she's making? Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so do I smoke it all at once or like a little throughout the day? Like, it won't matter, bro. Either way, her life's ruined. You are ruining the greatest day of her life. I have life. a feeling that secret power was in you all along. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a placebo a little bit. <laughs> Toxic wedding guest weed, man. We're going to be so rich. We should make some, uh, some just oddly specific. <laughs> going to a rap concert, fully prepared to be the only white guy at it, but also want to be ready when I'm high out of my mind mm-hmm. to not think about it. Um, hey, man, I have a breakdancing battle tonight, and I signed up on accident. <laughs> I didn't think it was what it was. Or like, I need to cancel my gym membership. <laughs> but it's like, every time I go in there, I end up leaving pain more. <laughs> yeah. And I need, like, we got you, dude. This yeah. is going to give you the courage. We got you the courage. Wait. Right. Um, there's this cute girl, a barista at the cafe that I go right at, and we have a little bit of charm. She thinks my name is, she thinks I'm Brian and I'm dove in. I just need her to know it's not. I need to get so high <laughs> that I can have the courage to convey my real name. <laughs> All right. So we do have two options for you. We have, uh, tell her it's Torio yeah. or live your life as Boreo. <laughs> Oh, just tell her it's Tori. Will it, will it work? <laughs> it might. <laughs> this is all very okay. Eastern medicine based. But live your life as Boreo will like for sure work. That one is like, honestly, <laughs> we've double blind tested. It's, we have your new ID. <laughs> there are a lot of Boreos out there <laughs> as a result of this specific. Uh, that's fun. Yeah. I need Coke like that. Mm. Got to get my business off the ground. Right. Tonight. Right. <laughs> My business is due tonight. Business. <laughs> I need to drive nine hours and six hours. Yep. We got you. Meeting a childhood friend that needs to be caught up. We haven't talked since we were little on everything in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> up until this point. Whether he wants it or not. Yeah. I just need to be ready to blurt it out. <laughs> You know what's the move that I hate with talkers is, uh, and people need, this is for everyone out there listening. You know someone like this or it is you. And I've been, I've been on both sides of this, but there's the talker that's just babbling. And instead of saying what you want to say, which mm-hmm. is shut up, mm-hmm. you say, I got to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, I got to take this call. Right. You go out and do whatever task you do that you hope ends the fucking train. Mm-hmm. And then you come back. 
and they go, so where were we? And you, you, you know, I just went through this because we were talking about it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens. Quite it happens a lot. a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's rough. And they go, where were we? And you want to go? We were done. Yeah, we're, you finished. We it was were, crazy. I heard the whole end. That was such a good ending. Yeah, and it shook me up so much. I don't even want to talk. Repeat it. Yeah. Like it, it was a rough <clears throat> ending. Yeah. In, <laughs> in fact, we should talk about. Um, I was gonna say something different, but maybe actually you just shouldn't talk for a bit. Just yeah. Because I need to process what this the whole. Yep story so you should take off yeah for sure you should absolutely <laughs> go away from where you're standing right now i ha- but i've also like not to sound like some snobby <laughs> fucking bad listener i've been the guy you have been the guy but the people that go away you know what i do you follow you let them go i let them go you let them if go. you love them right you let, you them, let go. them go if they want to hear the end of the story i have a feeling they'll find you <laughs> <laughs> they'll go hey man we never got to the end of that that's that's how you play it the problem is is that like some of these storytellers take so long yeah it's just too long yeah and uh comics have a low tolerance for it because yeah. we have like three minutes on stage sometimes uh-huh. you got to get to it trim that fat yeah yeah it's rough um i was at a wedding and uh jimmy o yang we were chopping it up mm-hmm. and then he was kind of like all right man you know like i'm gonna go and I, you let him go. I never, never saw Jimmy O. Yang. You know, mm-hmm. we maybe run into each other again, but I'm not like. So anyway, third grade basketball, right? Halfway through the season, right. we haven't won a single game. My dad's the coach. He's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we pull together. Cool, man. At the buzzer. Yeah, that's cool. So how do you know, you know, the bride or the groom? Fuck that bitch, dude. <laughs> Okay. Telling you about the St. Hillary's right, I was Dolphins. Just, I was just trying to talk about uh, legacy, something different, so I could get out of it real quick. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I know her from. Um, actually, <laughs> guess who was on the opposing team at that basketball game? Um, before I do, do you have some kind of like gun <laughs> <laughs> or something I could end Yo, my? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go shooting? Yeah, let's go shooting. You have the gun on you? Yes. Fast forward, we're at my dad's fucking duck ranch. <laughs> duck right, hunting man. ranch. And this is the safety's off. Oh, yeah, that's all, all right, the way off. Cool, you can man. kill whatever you hey, want. Man, just before I go, I yeah. just want you to know that this was your fault. Shit. Okay, well, so we won the championship. <laughs> I, I, all I'm worried about is finishing the yeah. story. Not even you. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's not funny, though. We got to, you got to touch on that. Suicide's not funny? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there is a hotline that you can call. I think it's um, 988. There's a new one. Google what the new suicide hotline is and then call that number if you're having any thoughts because we are professionals, as you know, professional making fun of suiciders. Yeah. So it's okay for us to do it. Right. What other disclaimer do I have to say? Oh, you need to talk about the weed that we came up with to help people. Oh, yeah. You can also buy a weed <laughs> called, called um, Life's Tight. Don't forget. Life's Tight. Don't forget. These thoughts are probably just a phase and like you need to just sack it up a little bit kind of and it, that's a um, that's a sativa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hybrid. Right. See, that's the thing. It's the other thing I learned with the hybrids mm-hmm. is that hybrid. So I thought indica sativa. Now it can mean CBD is one of them. Yes. So now I'm getting a hybrid, but it's just making me sleepy. Right. Well, THC is the high part. Mm-hmm. And the CBD is the calming. Yeah. It chills you out. It, well, it just doesn't get you high. Right. But sometimes CBD does get me a little high. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you know what I realized? Hello. Stoners are making this. <laughs> 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 I've taken a CBD where I'm like, I'm really high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go, Same. oh, I trusted. The guy had a lab coat yeah. in the picture of the back of the bottle of the tincture. Mm-hmm. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. I should have looked at the rest of him. Yeah. No shoes. <laughs> Shoeless. You were thinking, oh, maybe like a Birkenstock, right? Yeah. A doctor I could trust could wear Birkenstocks. He's fun. He's hippie. He's weed. Right. No shoes. Right. You, you can't be mad if you get the wrong dose. No. He That's the a, other thing is I'm eating. He had a degree that was tie dye. I'm eating gummy bears, right? Yeah. And it's just like, how do you know that there's 0.5 milligrams in this little guy? Yeah. Also. Gummy bear, that ain't real medicine, dog. Once it's a gummy bear, it's drugs. <laughs> it's nothing. It's oh. nothing serious. Oh yeah. You know, no one's no, no, no one's overdosing from from. You can, and no, hold act, on. No actual doctor is you giving you a gummy bear. You don't bear. think you can put fentanyl in a gummy bear? I bet you could. Yeah, you probably could, but they're not gonna. 
<laughs> you don't you don't cross gummy bear is a territory that is tough to cross over into. What about no gummy doctors, worm? No doctors like, well, we could send you up to the uh, third floor, or I could just give you these chemo gummies. <laughs> Fully right. toxic radiation. Yeah. Gummy bears, it's just like, hey, man, you want to feel kind of goofy? And we can't explain That's what it fair. is. That is fair. I literally cannot explain it. I couldn't even begin to try. Yeah. And I went to school for a decade. Yeah. yeah. University of Ja. Very <laughs> rigorous program. <laughs> hmm. So, do you remember last Patreon episode where we talked about honey laundering? Yes. So, there is a... Okay, so... You got to become a patron to hear all about it. But p- apparently, one of the most insane, one of the biggest ways people launder money is through honey. They scam with fake honey. With fake honey. Right? Most of the honey you eat's fake. We went on a long tangent. It's all back there. Yeah. Whatever. But there's a honey place opening up across the street from you. For me? Yeah, right next to Toy Row, which always distracts me. And it's they just put the sign up. It's called like uh, it's like a it's a clever name like be be wonderful or biatch something. yeah something like that and the the windows are still like cardboarded up but they're like you can tell they're working on it mm-hmm. and I think we got to invest in that now that I know that like you know I want to go in there and be like hmm. see how real oh, this is yeah this honey huh right. No bees in here. Hmm, Weird. God. Where's the fucking money? <laughs> yeah. It's in the wall. It just punched should through the drywall. Rob, should we rob the place? Yeah. Because we, th- you know, if you rob a criminal, a, that's what I'm saying. If you mu- if you rob laundered, un- not quite laundered yet money, right? They can't call the authorities. Who are they gonna call? They're ratting themselves out. They're ratting themselves out. I did walk by that honey place, mm-hmm. and this guy dressed up like Heisenberg. He had like a full white suit. He came oh, out, oh yeah, and, and he took his mask off, and he went, "It's not even fucking close. <laughs> it's not even close." Was it to a honey. gas mask or yeah. like a COVID mask? Gas mask. Oh yeah, he said it's not close. Yeah, that's perfect. And perfect. it's glass. They shattered it. I'm like, is that honey? He's like, it's honey. Okay, it's honey. All right, we're not open yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. So I think we should. I just love getting caught up in the big bad world of honey you think you do till you end up like in your fucking car on the mm-hmm. s- ditch on the side of the road with a bullet wound in the back of your head and, and one a queen bee in a case <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep her alive and a suicide note said i did it to myself this has nothing to do with honey <laughs> don't blame honey <laughs> which is all real yeah i can't wait till we're uh like dons of the honey empire you know i don't know why you think just because you found a heist that we would be kingpin we're gonna do it. it we're gonna be a kingpin honey kingpin really yeah i think so really do you think he, i mean yeah i don't see why not we start low I, you, you know, know me where we're just roughing bees up you know how dumb i am yeah you'll come along if i can just get some shiny i think you love honey i would be <laughs> so out there alone. in the sales department right and i'd be going so the best part about it is none of this is real <laughs> Remain hand over fist. <laughs> so anyway, special agent. Uh, if we get the FBI on board, here's my card. Take a few. <laughs> and I'm always at this number. Yeah, it's just sugar water. That's yeah, all we're selling all people. We're yeah. So tell uh, Hoover <laughs> who's in charge over there. Yeah. Wh- so Hoover was who's what's the it's the I now. What's the I what's stand the for? I? It's not full blooded Italian, right? <laughs> Right, and obviously it's not me. federal booby inspector because that's <laughs> that's not a, a federal joke. job. That's, that's, that's states. state level, <laughs> states. maybe even county. Because yeah. you got to think local, right? Or no, think global, act act local. local. So there we go. So yeah, so if we could just lobby, <laughs> or if I could start lobbying with yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. much you want? <laughs> yeah, million. Like say a million. Yeah, millions fine. A million even. Yeah, yeah. A million ten. He accidentally properly bribes the FBI. <laughs> They're like, well, I guess so. Because like, dude, you are honestly like, I don't even use the word retarded. But when you walked in and gave me this whole spiel, I'm like, I'm gonna bring this word back just because of you. But then you offered me a million, and then you offered me a and, million ten. And just to be is sure. that a million do- and ten dollars? Do you think that extra whoever the fuck is on the 10 is going to... just to be clear, fake honey is a misdemeanor. <laughs> so this is going to be a ticket at best. Okay, so here's, here's what we'll, but we yes, will we'll do. take a million 10. I'll take money. <laughs> and you keep doing something that's probably not even a crime. Barely illegal. And you're thinking of the FDA. 
I'm here to get a haircut. <laughs> And uh, your store's actually next door. Yeah. And he's like, I'm in the wrong store. Yes. That's right. You're not even in your right place. <laughs> I'm not at work. You're not in your right place. The fact that <laughs> you found an FBI that. agent is astonishing. That is pure <laughs> happen circumstance. <laughs> Happenstance? Happen circumstance. Oh, that's fun. Was it happenstance? Happenstance, I believe. Is, I don't know why. What is happenstance? What's say? any word? I'm redefining What's, happenstance. You can't ask me this when I'm a one gummy in. What's I'm the redefining, word happenstance? I'm redefining mean? happenstance. Oh, whoa, dude. Happenstance is if I get caught doing something stupid and I go, well, that just happened. <laughs> and you're like, why are you standing like that? And I go, it's my happenstance. <laughs> Zach, I lent you my car for two hours and you totaled it. And I went, I just have it. And you're like, why are you like this? This is my happenstance. <laughs> also severely shattered my right knee in that car accident. Are you okay? Nope. But this, sometimes that's how the cookie happenstance. <laughs> this happenstance is the only thing keeping my knee cap in place. <laughs> Do not let me leave this happenstance. <laughs> Please tell what I'm going to pass out from the blood loss, but please make sure they gently lower me in the same stance <laughs> yeah. onto the gurney. They can't do bring a regular gurney. I got to stay in my happenstance. 